Hey guys, welcome back to VK Vlogs and welcome back to Travel Talks with VK Vlogs. Today I am sitting at the AM PM Resort near Mandi in Pando, yeah. and I am sitting with the co-owner yeah. of this AM PM Resort, a very good friend of mine, Vaishali. Yeah. Vaishali is not only a traveler herself, but since she manages this resort, she meets a lot of fellow travelers. and also believes in a lot of meditation spirituality and a lot of other things which i also am inquisitive about right. and today we will get to know from her that yes. how you travel and uh, your travel stories and travel stories from people whom you have met also yes. are always welcome so welcome to travel talks with vk thank you for having me on your show okay yeah. so how is it going here in amazing amazing indescribable i mean uh, life is so beautiful life is so simple and uh, it's nothing like metro cities of and i've adapted and absorbed everything you know how the life is how the mentality is and uh, the vibes are i mean it's just beautiful yeah i mean you have lived half of your life in a metropolitan city yes, which yes. is delhi yes. and now you're living in himachal pradesh yeah. since almost 6 years now let's 6 years since 6 years yeah. so it had would, would have been a huge change to you and your life and your lifestyle i think the speed the the that pattern you live uh, in a metro city that you are always working for somebody else you yeah. know so what i learned here is when i shifted that you don't have to constantly work for somebody else you can literally work on yourself and your personal growth and side by side of course you're making living and you know making money also but that's not the whole purpose of life that you running and constantly and this there are things in your mind and there's no break at all so there's so much of break here you can work on yourself mentally and emotionally and uh, that's how you can you know grow personally and also the best part about here is it's right in the center of you know himachal yeah. you can, every every place is like 3 4 hours away you can yeah. go to the other part of himachal which is the chintpuri and all that parts yes. and manali is 2 hours from here yes. you can also travel further then there's kasol and yes. everywhere so yes. let's get straight to the point and come back to travel yes please. since uh, So what's your favorite travel destination and uh, In India why? I have yeah. not yeah traveled outside yet but I would very sure now with my daughter uh but in India I love Goa okay I love Goa and uh, what that city offers you you know so I think I go to that place every year and uh, there's just always different experiences I go to go to that place and um, it's the vibe it's the freedom being a woman you feel there the safety and the freedom and everything is just so regular regular in terms specifically for general role gender yeah. roles you know mm. you nobody looks at you like you're a woman there mm. people are like looking at you or dealing with you like first you're a human right you know so that's the best part about goa i like and uh, of course there are a lot of experiences but what i can tell you right now is and the, the, the these experiences give you the first impression about that place so the very first time when i went to goa i, I went to this uh, open beach party okay and uh, this that was my very first party also in goa and okay. i uh, i experienced and i saw what it was i was very naive i was a teenager back then hmm. so i saw that there was this party happening and everybody was stripping and hmm. chilling and dancing what not and that party was like a very uh, late night party so it went up to un- until early morning mm. we all were so exhausted you know but we didn't stop dancing because of the music and the vibe and the energy around it was just so much so what i saw was there were like three uh three i think they were russians i guess the three tall russian women in their angelic form they were like wearing white uh gowns okay. i uh, i still remember just like victoria secret yeah <laughs> no All right. I mean, we both there. are from fashion industry. We have yeah. to do something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, they were very stylish. I have to yeah. add, they were very stylish, and uh, they just uh, they were just coming to everybody and giving everybody that dairy milk chocolate kabar. Okay. You know, just to give them more energy mm. and uh, uh, more. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, it was giving power. You mm. know, some sort of power and energy. And obviously, mm. I'm not saying that you should just mm. take. uh take things from anybody in mm. your mouth no it's it's not uh, of course uh, it's not you should time. not consume no, it's not yes. the time any longer so it was back in you know back when i was a teenager that happened and we can't do that any longer you know we can't just open our mouth and take stuff from people we don't know that's not the time but yeah back then and i felt so good because they were 
coming from a place of love and uh, they wanted to share that love with everyone and they were so beautiful angels and i that was the first impression of goa i still have encrypted in my mind i would never forget that and uh, i got so much inspired that that place was all about sharing love of course it it is bad in some ways also but then uh, which place is not right Yeah. Goa always gives you amazing memories yeah. because I've been there like two, three times now. Yeah, I've uh, been on my car also, and every time I go there, I have a new uh, experience, a yeah. new vibe. Yeah. But one thing that never changes is the positivity the around. The positivity, in Goa. yeah, and how people you are. You feel so free. Yeah, free freedom, and then yeah. everyone there is like one big family. You know, there's less discrimination. Like uh, uh, people are not. Treating you like you are a tourist, yeah. or you are coming from outside, or everybody is a local there. You know, you can do whatever you yeah. want. You want to chill, chill. You want to party, party. Yeah. You want to work, work. You know. So thank like you that. to all the Portuguese people, and especially Mr. Vasco da Gama. Thank you very much I for mean, that. If you didn't discover Goa for us, I think it would die would not have been the same. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. In that way. No. My consciousness just exploded that day yes. when I had that experience. Moving on, and as I told in the start of this video, uh, you are into a lot of meditation and yeah. spirituality, and yeah. I don't know what all. So let's yeah. we'll hear more about that. So yeah. I'm I'm curious about one thing that you, uh, like how does a meditation would help a traveler, hmm. like a uh, somebody who's traveling a lot and doesn't know about all of this, and maybe you can enlighten this thing that how does meditation help, and also share if there is any interesting story that you got to know. Yeah. regards to saying right right so first i'll define what meditation is okay. so that you can relate mm -hmm. that it's it's that you you have already been doing meditations in your travel mm -hmm. uh, journeys so meditation is really not just sitting at one place and closing your eyes and it's part of it of course that's one way to do it but meditation is basically being present in the moment mm. when you are completely from here from okay. here in the moment when you go to some place i think the best way to meditation or to meditate uh, in that place would be breathe that air mm. you know be present in the moment mm. drink their water or breathe that air or learn their culture that is like you're thoroughly present in the moment you're not just going there for few photographs or a mm -hmm. uh, few posts instagram posts or videos mm. no go there uh breathe that air go to uh, ancient places and touch those walls and grab those energies so that is meditation you okay. know and uh, while traveling if you do this you be a part of that place you basically being present in the moment and mm. when you're in the moment you're already meditating you you're consciously being there physically mentally and emotionally and also spiritually mm. so that is meditation I yeah i've noticed whenever i travel with people and of course i hear conversations while traveling people are always worried about what's going to happen next yeah ब्रेकफास्ट कर लिया तो लंच में क्या खाना है लंच कर लिया तो डिनर में क्या खाना है जस्ट बी प्रेजेंट इन द मोमेंट आई थिंक दिस अ ग्रेट डेफिनेशन ऑफ पुटिंग मेडिटेशन व्हिच व्हिच यू सेड वेरी राइटली जस्ट बीइंग देयर इन द मोमेंट इट्स नॉट स्टीरियोटिपिकली जस्ट सिटिंग एंड क्लोजिंग योर आईज एंड दैट्स वन वे टू डू इट बट देयर आर लॉट ऑफ अदर वेज यू आर you're into gardening this is a yeah. good way i think yeah. <laughs> this Go for that. this this way i think a lot of people would agree to that's and a lot I, uh, of people would easy find it easy to practice also yeah <laughs> that's why i told you you have been meditating it already but you just don't know yes it. Yeah. good i mean i'm i'm proud and happy that i've nice. been meditating very nice <laughs> moving on now we have beer also and for the, my next question i think beer would be really necessary yes. everyone has their own set of bad experiences while traveling right so first let you tell me on a scale of 1 to 5 how much would you rate your bad experience look according to me there is no bad experiences no bad or good experience it's just i mean that all, you are, all the experiences you experience, teach you yes but yes. i mean at that moment it turns out to be a bad experience so have you had any or and what is the rating that you would i give? uh Okay, I won't really call it a bad experience, but I would say yet yeah, it was it was an uncomfortable experience situation mm. I got myself into. Okay. So I would say three out of uh, five. You said right? Mm. Yeah, three out of five. So, but I do. What did you do? Yeah, right. Right. So I went to Kashmir, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Kashmir me there is Dal Lake, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to experience that uh, houseboat. Mm. you know and shikara uh, shikara shikara is yeah shikara and houseboat so uh, in kashmir dogs are not really they are frowned upon you know for some reason for yeah. me everywhere is the same <laughs> <laughs> you are frowned upon <laughs> right so 
so that's what happened. So me, my husband, and Sasha, my doggy. So we took him to this uh, houseboat, and this these uh, Kashmiri locals, uh, they had no idea that we'll be bringing up a dog with us. And and he's a Lhasa app, so he's a very tiny dog. You know. You invited trouble yourself. <laughs> yeah. So I had no idea they'd be reacting that way, but they did. Uh -huh. So because obviously uh, there was less tourists that year, they couldn't say no to us because oh. money was coming in. Hmm. But the way they were welcoming us was not really so welcoming. Hmm. And we are such people that if we are, we really don't care about the basic facilities. What we more care about is how welcoming the other person is to no, us. That's true. So the way they were, they were obviously treating us all right. I won't say nicely. They were treating us all. They were giving us all the basic uh, uh, facilities we needed there. But I just couldn't sit there looking at that person who was looking at my dog like that, and he was giving those uh, energies, those very uh, bad looks, bad looks, and very frustrated he was from inside. But he couldn't say it. I truly understand why, where they, where he was coming from. But like I said, it wasn't a bad experience. It's just I myself got into that. You know, mm. I should have researched more that dogs were not allowed, and uh, that's about it. So then I took off from that place and in the middle of the night, just because I was not comfortable. It's not that they were going to do something to my dog. Mm. It's just they were not really open-heartedly welcoming. They were not receptive of the fact that you have a dog. Yeah, and uh, so we left from that place in the middle of the night, and then we took a hotel nearby, and that's about it. No shikara for you. No, no shikara. No, 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 no boat. I don't think so. I'll go so I think that is a bad experience. You should have told this first <laughs> <laughs> that you were not allowed to stay in the boat. I was not. This I was should allowed. have been the headline. You, should, you didn't know how to sell this one. <laughs> I was allowed to stay, but then they were not welcoming for my Sasha. You know? uh -huh. I was allowed to stay. I was giving them money. They were all yeah. okay. Yeah, I'll make that headline now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. A girl denied to stay in the houseboat. That's the headline. <laughs> A girl denied to yeah. That, I, that was me. Yeah. Yeah. That was you. And and since you're from Delhi, I'm sure you must have had a bad experience in Delhi also. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, but that's not a travel story. We'll yeah. save it for some other time. No, that's not. That. I am born and brought up. I am yeah. a Delhi height. So whatever I am today, I would say Delhi taught me all of that. You know, if I'm able to. Set up here. If I'm able to live, uh, start a new life in Himachal, it is because all of those experiences. Delhi which, teaches you the harsh way. <laughs> exactly, they grill you to yeah. the roots. So, yes. so I don't complain. The okay. life is fast, of course, but I'm very grateful that I got to learn so much. And whatever I am, it's because of being a Delhiite. I would never say that, but I would good to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. Okay, okay. So we come to the rapid fire round. I'll be there already. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. And uh, you have to be very rapid. You have to give me the first thought okay. that comes to your mind. Okay. Don't think that you are on coffee with Karan. Your travel talks with VKV. Right, right, okay. <laughs> okay. So, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when I say the word travel? Ah, uh, freedom. Nice. Your dream travel destination? I haven't figured that out. And that's so true. What's the first place that comes to your mind when I say this? I've been hearing a lot about Prague, so ah, let's do that. I've <laughs> already given you the dreams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. The best meal that you have ever, ever had on a vacation? Mm, dham. 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 And what is a dham for our viewers? So dham is a traditional uh, meal uh, which gets served uh, in Himachal for every occasion like uh, engagement, party or birthdays but uh, only on occasion and I think it is the best meal I've ever heard, uh, I've ever had um, till date. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Dham. I have to try dham but yeah. I've had a lot of uh, langars here. But no, I... Langar is different. Achha. Langar is not I have dham. to go to a shadi. Yeah. Wedding. Yeah. Wedding or a function or uh, a birthday may pro probably. Okay. Know, yeah. I'm ready to wear them. Yeah. that have birthday hat. I'll take you somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> ah, cheek, <done>. Dham. <laughs> Okay, so your go-to remedy for jet lag. I mean, you have not had a long flight. Exactly, it, yeah. But, so that's what I don't think so that applies to me. But still, but yeah. what would be your go-to remedy for jet lag? Meditation. I that knew that was coming. Yeah, meditation. <laughs> your most trusted travel app. Travel app. Hmm. Uh, Google. I have not used it because I have I have not travelled internationally. Yet. There is no translation happening so far. Uh, so many apps. Local, local, you know. How do you book uh, your ticket? There's so many apps. Like that. Uh, Anything that helps you with travel is a travel app. Basically. I think yeah. I think make my trip. Yeah. Make my trip if you're listening. Please sponsor my make videos. My trip. Yeah, why not? Yeah, they give you good discounts and good offers. Okay. Uh, a song that reminds you of travel, and you can sing also if you like. <laughs> Um, okay, it's very uh, 
इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक पिंट्रेस्ट इंस्टाग्राम इंस्टाग्राम ओके नाउ यू हैव टू चूज वुड यू रादर वुड यू रादर सी अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस फॉर अ लिटिल बिट और गेट टू नो वन इन डेप्थ आई विल गो फॉर गेट टू नो वन इन डेप्थ ओके आई मेक द कनेक्शन या यू नीड टू स्पेंड सम टाइम विद द प्लेस टू काइंड ऑफ गेट टू नो कनेक्शन हां तो या ओके सो रियली गेट इनटू इट ओके वुड यू रादर अपग्रेड योर फ्लाइट और योर होटल रूम सिंस यू आर अ होटल क्वीन नाउ सो What do you think? Uh, hotel. Hotel room. Yeah. They're always yeah. good. Yeah, you have to stay there. Yes. Yeah. Would you rather watch the rising sun or the setting sun? Setting or any time. Uh, yeah. Sunsets are yeah, the best. Yeah, Let's yeah, just put yeah. it any that time. way. I'm not a morning person. Even though I'm into, I don't know. This people have this belief that I'm into meditation, and you have to that can get be done any time actually. Yeah, get up exactly. The best meditation happens after twelve o'clock in the night. In the night. With this. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way, another. Yeah. That's another technique. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we come to the end of rapid fire. That was short and yeah. not so rapid. Let's just not put it that way. Not so rapid. I gave you like part, part, part. No, part. no hamper for you. Oh, <laughs> no hamper. For I have you. no beer. travel hamper. I have beer. This is the the travel hamper is, that yeah. you get. Okay, and we come to the last question, which is the most important question that I have. Right. Why do you travel? I travel to broaden my perspective, get out of my comfort zone. I travel to connect. There's so many things. It's like when a baby is living in its own house. Mm. He or she only sees like two, three bedrooms. But when he moves out of that house, mm. then he gets to know about life. Oh, अच्छा ये भी होता है, ये भी होता है, ये भी होता है. Yeah, <laughs> that they can get into. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I am not making you meet my daughter. <laughs> yeah. I like to connect with people. I like to really understand their culture and where they are coming from because it gives me a very different angle. uh on my own perspectives on on my own uh thought process and belief work so it really helps me to view certain situations of my life from different angles you know okay. so i travel not just the scenic view or the places i really want to uh, i really travel to connect with people and uh, how they are and why they are you know more more like it's because of the place it's because of the culture it's because of uh uh their uh, upbringing you know lot of factors yeah. awesome yeah. i must t- tell you that uh and also you guys that i'm meeting her after 2015 and we are sitting in 2022 and it's been I'm some 7 so 8 long years 7 8 long years 7 8 yeah. long years yeah. that we met and we have actually met once only before this once and uh, yeah. still we meditate and connected yeah, there's just put it that way there's a connection sure. absolutely yeah. and i uh, my connection brought him here yes. we were to him once and yeah. i should congratulate you for that first yeah. of all and thank, thank you. you so much for uh, being this wonderful person that you are yeah, you and uh, sharing this amazing stories of yours and enlightening some people that would watch this interview yeah. and, uh, and if you have watched this please don't forget to subscribe oh. and like yeah. and leave some comments for vishali Let's just put it that way. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, no. Thank you. Thank me you. and giving me this beautiful experience we are experiencing right yes. now. I wish that you travel now more and yeah. next time we meet again yes. and do this interview and you have more stories to share. Absolutely. On that yeah. note, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye. Cheers, man. Cheers. That was good. That was good. <laughs>